hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of b if we have a square root of b is equals to minus b and we solve this problem for all the values of b so here we need to first find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous roots further we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these two methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now we move towards the solution in first method so in the first method here for we need to remove this radical sign from left hand side and for this we just take a squaring on both of the sides so when we apply squaring on both of the sides it will be written as in this form and further in the next step here we need more simplifications and you see here this two and this square root are cancelled out by each other and in the left hand side we will get b is equals to in the right hand side we have this is minus b square and we know about that a minus square becomes positive and b square becomes here b square and further in the next step we need to move this b from left hand side to the right hand side and it will become here b square minus b is equals to zero and now you see here both of these two terms involve b so that uh, here uh, we just take common b from here and when we take common b we get the remaining values are from here we get b minus from here we get one and this whole equation is equals to zero and in the next step we uh, just divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write b is equals to zero and the second case is we write b minus one is equals to zero so this is the first root of the given equation and from here we move this minus one to the right hand side and we will get here b is equals to plus one so this is the second root of the given equation so from here first case we easily get these are the two roots of the given equation and now here in the next step we need to verify that is these two roots are solution of given equation or is these two roots are extraneous root so for verification of the roots we need to copy down given question statement here so that our given question statement is square root of b is equals to minus b so this is the our given question statement and uh, here in this side we will be substitute b is equals to zero and in this side we will be substitute b is equals to one so here we need to uh, substitute both of these two values to the uh, above equation and we check its behavior so when we put b equals to 0 on both of the sides it will be written as square root of 0 is equals to minus times of 0 and we have this is the square root of 0 becomes 0 equals to 0 and we clearly see that both of the sides are equal so if both of the sides are equal this means that the value of b equals to 0 is satisfied over this given question statement so this is the first solution of the given equation and now here we verify our second value so we substitute b equals to 1 on both of the sides and when you put it here it will become the square root of 1 is equals to uh, minus 1 and now here you see that uh, the square root of 1 is equals to 1 and this is minus 1 and here you see that 1 is not equals to minus 1 or in other words we just say that it is not possible case it is not possible that positive 1 is equal to negative 1 so this is not possible and it means that the value of b is equals to 1 is not satisfied our given question statement so if this is not satisfied we just call that b is equals to 1 b the extraneous root of the given equation okay so this is the extraneous root because it does not satisfy our given question statement and here we conclude about the solution set of this question is that we have b is equals to zero be the solution set of this problem so this is the conclusion about the first method and now here we again solve this problem 
for second method so in second method uh, we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is square root of b is equals to minus b this is the our given question statement and here uh, in the second method uh, we just use an other techniques to get the roots of this equation and here in this method uh, we just move the term from right hand side to the left hand side and it will become this is square root of b this is negative b when we move it into the left hand side it will become positive b and this whole equation is equals to zero and here we use the nice technique and you know about that if we have a, a number that is x we write this x as product of a square root of this x okay so we write this x as square root of x multiplied by x so in this rule we write over this b as into the form of square root and this b is written as square root of b is multiplied by square root of b and this whole equation is equals to zero and now here further in the next step you see both of these two terms involve square root of b uh, so that here we just take common square root of b and we get the remaining values are square root of when you take common this square root of b uh, sorry we will get here one only and when you take common this square root of b we get this is square root of b plus one and this whole equation is equals to zero okay so here uh, we need to divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write square root of b is equals to zero and the second case is we write square root of b plus 1 is equals to 0 and from here in order to get the values of b we need to take squaring on both of the sides so when you take squaring we will get here b is equals to 0 this is the uh, first root of the given equation which we get here from second case and from here we easily get uh, square root of b is equals to minus 1 and now for the values of b we again take a squaring on both of the sides so when you take squaring it will be written as this two and square root are gone we get here b is equals to this is minus one square and minus one square becomes here plus one so this is the second root of the given equation and uh, here uh, in the first method we already verify that b is equals to one is not satisfied our given question statement so we call b is equals to 1 be the extraneous root uh, because it does not satisfy our given question statement and b equals to 0 be the solution set of the given equation okay because the verification of both of these two uh, which we rise into the first method so this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos